Come in, Beta-1. Beta-1, go ahead. Beta-1, Alpha-7 responding to silent alarm, Martling and Stern stock brokerage, 2040 lock. Beta-1, provide backup. Beta-1, roger. <laughs> Join the corporate guard. Wow! Business is war, and we're fighting for nothing less than who owns America? Over forty percent of our country has been bought by foreign investors, paid accountants, lawyers, and office managers. Now, count me in. Now there goes a real patriot. <laughs> Lock him up. Hey, hey, what is this? What's happening? You are under arrest. I'm sorry, officer, but we have to go. However, feel free to stick around. Everything's frozen! We're trapped! Help! We're trapped in here! Nothing like a good night's work to make a man feel proud. And as they say, when opportunity knocks... Don't knock the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> So in the name of big business buddies everywhere. Congratulations, Elliot Feldman. Wear this commodities leveraging badge with pride. You earned it. <laughs> and now, the winner of our next award will join the ranks of what it is to be the best in the BBB. The Milken Man. Come out, man, and congratulate our newest winners. Stop squirming. Come on, Grandma, I feel so dorky. It's a big honor. I only wish your mother wasn't out of town. She'd be so proud. She'll see it. And to present this next award, I'm pleased as punch to introduce our guest of honor. Will you please give a rousing Triple B welcome to the chairman of Omni Consumer Products? Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'm pleased as punch to be here, Mr. Walda, especially as I've been asked to present this year's award for best essay on the importance of business language in corporate society. I know you're all as anxious as I am to know the winner. And so, the winner is Jimmy Murphy. Jimmy, you can get up there, Jimmy. Are you getting your muscle? Don't worry, I'm getting it. Congratulations, sir. And here's a badge to commemorate the occasion. Let me pin it on. Hold on. There you go. Russell? Russell? Missing our grandson. Go ahead and shock the flat line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody, clear! 
Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. report is stolen this morning. Prints and fiber scans are negative. Talk up another one for the corporate raiders. Chairman Masks, high-tech hardware, it's gotta be them. Security guard. Same as the other hits. Where am I? Who am I? Do you know my name? I like ice cream. I really like ice cream. <laughs> Shot full of flat scan. Same stuff they're testing on the psychos at Buchanan Max. She'll be lucky to remember what planet she's on. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. You are such an inspiration to our young members. Oh, it's the least I can do for OCP's favorite charity, after all. We must set an example for tomorrow's young executives. Uh, then uh, I take it that I'll see you at the ceremony tomorrow night? Yes. Well, um, about that, I'm sure it's an honor to be made a BBB Grand Business Master, but my schedule is so crowded. Oh, not to worry. It's an honorary title only you wouldn't actually have to spend any time with the boys. And there might be a very nice photo opportunity if you were to present us with next year's donations. What do you say? Well, all right. Ah. But do I really have to wear that uniform you sent to my office? That's part of the fun of being in the BPP. Huh. Well, bye, bye, bye. What's your dad doing here? Memories, perhaps. He was once a cop. Oh, come on, Murph. The only memory he has of this place is pain, and it's going to stay that way till the day you decide to tell him who you are. No. That would cause him greater pain. I appreciate your offering to help. Here. What is it you are looking for? I saw something or someone tonight. At least I think I saw someone. I thought you might be able to enhance the video. You can scan right past this. You are worried. It's who I think it is. I'm more than worried. Here, right here. Can you zoom in on that? Can you clear it up? Yes. Holy... It is her. Man, the years have sure been kinder to her than they have been to me. Scanning detects numerous facial scars, indicating extensive cosmetic surgery. Around the eyes, nose, chin, neck. Ears and lips. It figures she always was vain, not to mention dangerous. She killed six people, Dorothy. She's gonna walk. Just like that. She's gonna walk. Tessa Stark, correct? You know her? The Noxy Corp explosion. It is in police files. And you know I was the investigator on the case. Yes. There was insufficient evidence to convict. Now, Tessa was guilty, all right. I just couldn't prove it. And now she's back, and she's up to something, I know that. Whatever it is, it cannot be good. Where were you, Walter? Just chatting with the chairman. You don't chat. <laughs> 
Not on my time, especially not with him. I was making sure about tomorrow night to help you. When I want your help, Waldo, I'll demand it. After all these years, my master plan is finally ready to launch. I won't have it jeopardized by your bungling interference. Now that we've cleared the air, let's get ready for the final phase tomorrow night, shall we? Justin! Did you bring Tessa that classified phone number she asked for? Right here. Plus all of Martling and Stone's trading data. The last of the four phone numbers and the beginning of the end for all of my enemies. Well, let's see what kind of insider information Martling and Stern have for me. Like the very first time. Come on, baby. What's your secret? Let this have it. Oh, yes. Yes. There it is. A merger between SUX and RYP to be announced tomorrow. Buy me a million shares through Tokyo, baby. Get in on the ground floor. Do it. Yes. Oh, yes. Go back to your room, Justin. Everything has come together, Waldo. Ten hard years of planning and manipulating, preparing my little apocalypse. <laughs> uh, are you sure that this is the right time? I mean, uh, I say, I was thinking. You uh, don't think, Waldo. I think. You didn't even own a necktie when I picked you up in that bar in Rio. And don't you ever forget it, Mr. Big. Business, buddy. <laughs> when you're able to stand up, you can stop thinking and get back to the important business at hand. Get me Jimmy Murphy. Flipped them out over these corporate raiders. Why? Because they're making fun of the chairman with those funny little masks? And again, they want some answers. So do I, Sarge. Okay, four stockbrokers in six weeks. All we know is they're fast, well-equipped, and very professional. We got some kind of computer assault program that blows right by any password protection. They download everything, pop it into the electronic treaty net, make a killing before morning. Well, can't we just trace the software? Nope, custom job. How about the OCP con net? If they made a stock trade, there's got to be a communications trail, right? Oh, yeah. Take a look. The pros at ComNet made it to Nairobi twice before their tracing system crashed. Well, tell them to try it again. It may not be much, but it's the closest thing to a trail these punks have left. Okie doke. Mr. Murphy, Jimmy ready to go? I don't know, I'll check. Here we are. I feel like an even bigger door. <laughs> hey, Jimbo, y'all psyched up for our tour of the phone company? It counts towards your business phone skills badge, you know. Great. <laughs> Got a motor, time is money, and we don't have a nickel to spend. <laughs> See you later. You ride on the bus. Okay. You know, Russell, I'm glad Jimmy got that award, but I've got to be honest, if I was still teaching, I wouldn't give his paper any better than a C. Then why would they give him the Milken Award? Standards just aren't what they used to be, I suppose. All 
right, my little CEOs. Let's go. Follow me. Come on. Smartly now. Smartly. Come on, gentlemen. You'll be running the country soon. Are all the big business buddies. Why, here you are. Oh. We've been expecting you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Now, please stay in a group and get ready for a very exciting time at your phone company. Now, if you'll just follow me, we'll start with our fully okay. automated long distance department. Charming, who is she? Her name is Tessa Stark. She murdered six people 20 years ago. The guard at the factory saw Tessa's hand throw the switch. It had a birthmark on it right here. But before I could arrest her, she destroyed the evidence. Russell had evidence of her guilt. But she destroyed it by putting her hand through a paper shredder. Out. Extreme lady, huh? Wonder what she's up to now. Whatever it is, it cannot be good. And now the final stop in our tour. At one time, there were a dozen switching stations around the city. But since OCP put Metronet online, why everything's been centralized. The equivalent of over 12 million calls goes through this one station every second of every day, 365 days a year. Wow, that is amazing, isn't it, kids? Uh, oh, well, uh, time to shove off. Let's give this nice lady a big BBB thank you. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. Come back anytime, you hear? <laughs> thank you. All right, gentlemen, uh, follow the nice phone man out. Move smartly now. Bye. You're on the clock, boys. Jimmy, why don't you ride in the limo with me? Oh, it's okay. I like riding on the bus with the other kids. Is that any way for an honorary Milken to talk? You're not like other kids, Jimmy. You should get used to that. I mean, do you think that the chairman would ride on a bus, huh? I guess not. I'm all you've got. Have you called the police? They're on their way. What are we dealing with here? Three suspects with masks. Two hostages, couple of employees. Is there another way in there? Back service door, into the hallway and right. All right, cover me and then get him out of here.
Hold it right there. I may look old, but I'm not gonna miss at this range. And certainly I'm not gonna miss at this range. Well, Mr. Murphy, you are without a doubt a very valuable commodity. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Talk is cheap. Action is money. No! Test! The boss wants him alive! When opportunity knocks, don't knock the opportunity. You took it out! Love all cops here! Hold him off! Robocop's got us trapped. We'll have to restructure our withdrawal policy. I am very disappointed in you, Justin. I hate getting my hand dirty. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. No damage. Was it the corporate raiders again? I can tell you who was behind it. One of those punks let a name slip. It was Tess. For my money, he meant Tessa Stark. Been a very bad boy, Justin. You nearly ruined ten years of planning. <sighs> and who told you to kill Russell Murphy? I, I wanted to surprise you. A surprise? How sweet. I don't like surprises. <sighs> now you, Morald, listen to me. I created big business buddies. This whole operation is mine. Your butts are mine. The chairman is mine. And Russell Murphy is mine. You don't go to the bathroom unless I tell you. Is that clear? <laughs> Robocop? We have to talk. I was out here just before the trouble. I was tailing my grandson. Okay, I'm an old cop. I was worried about the boy. The point is, the attack came right after the big business buddies were in there. You think there is a connection? If Tessa Stark is mixed up with the BBB, you can count on it. BBB records show no connection to Tessa Stark. Come on, this is a woman that blew up six people in order to cover her tracks. You think she'd leave a paper trail? 
We need more evidence. Look, you can't always go by the book. If my son were still alive, he... He would have told me the exact same thing. I hope uh, robots can accept apologies. Actually, I am an adaptive cyborg. What does that mean? It means... Apology accepted. Cyborg? Cyborg. Sarge, take a look at this. Phone numbers, right? I don't know, it's weird. They're part of the data the corporate raiders stole from the brokers they hit. Each one is protected by a password, and they all came from different brokers, but according to records, none of them exist. You mean they're unlisted? I mean, there's no record of them anywhere. Phone book, our files, the FBI files, even OCP ComNet came up empty. Looks like you're taking a trip back to the phone company, Madigan. I'm gone. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you got the uniform we sent you very sharp. I haven't uh, worn a uniform since my days at the Ivan Bosky Elementary Business School. You look awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, come in, come in. The ceremony's just about to begin. Good. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Oh, it's just a small private ceremony. Uh, this way, sir. Just how private is the ceremony? <clears throat> Jimmy Murphy, what are you doing to that boy? He's here for a reunion. A very private reunion, Mr. Chairman. Or, uh, should I call you lover? Tessa. Tessa Stark. You remember? Oh, how sweet. So do I. It was our third day, and you were drunk. Oh. <gasps> and very, very cute. I stayed the night. And the next morning, what? you betrayed me to Detective Murphy and the police. It cost me my hand to stay out of prison. You killed innocent people. Oh, how noble you are. The fact that I was ahead of you in line for chairperson of OCP had nothing to do with your decision. Of course not. Don't lie to me. You threw me to the sharks, darling. And now I'm gonna make you pay. I'm back. Hi, where's Jimmy? I thought he'd be home with you. I thought he was here with you. He should have been back from that phone company tour hours ago. You don't think there's been an accident? 
Wait a minute, Jimmy didn't leave the phone company with the rest of the kids on the bus. He went with Waldo in the limo. What are you doing? Dorothy, I don't have time to explain. Jimmy could be in danger. Then we should call the police. The phones are all down. You go over to Metro South. Tell them I've gone to BBB headquarters. Don't worry, Dorothy. I'll get Jimmy back. Nobody is taking any more of my family away from me. My bosses are very concerned. So where do the four numbers go? Uh, to the main trading computer at the New York Stock Exchange. Like I said, uh, they're only used by the computers to talk to one another. Those four numbers fall into the wrong hands. Any hacker with a keyboard could play havoc with the stock market. Which substation will the four numbers be routed through? Well, we've only got one terminal online, and it'd take quite a while to find out. Well, I mean, it's not that I haven't got enough to do here. I guess we better get started, huh? Come on. How can you do this? After all, OCP is done for the BBB. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I created big business buddies? I made it the kind of charity that you would gladly shovel money into. And uh, thanks to your generosity, I've been able to build up my war chest, develop my personal army of milk and boys, and prepare my revenge. That's the best part, old man. OCP is footing the bill for its own downfall. Huh. Our final guest. Mrs. Murphy says he's gone to BBB headquarters to look for them. And Robo, he took his gun. I'm on my way. Come in, Murphy. Join the club. Please, don't try anything foolish. We have your grandson. Grandpa! Hello, Tessa. I knew you'd show up sooner or later. That's right, Detective Murphy. I'm back. Oh! Grandpa! And I'm better than ever. It's all right, Jimmy. I'm okay. For now. All right, men. Let's go. We have less than an hour to reach ground zero. You know what to do, Waldo. Well, look on the bright side, Jimmy. Hmm. You're gonna become a real true milking man. <sighs> After I give you a shot at this flat scan. Trash bucket. Hold him off. It'll be better if you don't fight. You'll just feel a little sting. Come on in, trash bucket. Well done. They took my grandpa and the chairman. Where? I don't know. The woman said she was going to destroy OCP. Please, my grandpa needs help. I will find him. Hello. Who are you? Who am I? Oh, hey. You want to play?
The substation goes online in five minutes, Miss Stark. Excellent. Is the phone patch complete? Two minutes, Miss Stark. And in ten minutes, Delta City's four major brokerages will go back online with the New York stock market computers trying to make up for 12 hours of delayed trading. Millions of trades rooted through this substation. And thanks to the phone numbers we acquired... and the miracles of modern communication. Tessa is gonna have one wild ride. My God, she's going to patch into the trading computer. You could destroy the economy. No, I'll just have it by the throat. And the first thing I'm going to do is choke the life out of OCP. <gasps> Murphy, I'm at the phone company. The guy here says all computerized stock trading will be rooted through an old substation at 5th and Woodward. That's got to be the corporate raider's next target. I will meet you there. Great. Think of it. A million cell orders boosted through the system at once. OCP stock will drop like a steel kite. And when it reaches zero... It won't work, Tessa. As soon as the traders realize what's going on, they'll shut you down. Oh, perhaps. But by then, you two will be found dead. A murder-suicide. Along with evidence proving that you blew up Noxy Corps 20 years ago and framed me for the crime. 30 seconds, Miss Stark. You're a sick, vicious woman, Tessa. It's too late for flattery. Uh. <laughs> Come to Mama. Oh. Oh. Oh, yes. Dive, baby, dive. Oh, $80 a share and dropping. Soon OCP stock will be worth less than toilet paper. <laughs> I've won. I've won! <laughs> oh! Stop him! Tessa, looks like this time you're out of business for good. Okay, people, party's over. You okay? Yeah, fine. Speak for yourself. I have to halt trading of OCP stock before we're wiped out. Where's the phone in this place? I mean, I mean, for God's sake, this is the phone company. Can somebody get me a phone? Robocop. Robo. Alex. I, I thought you might need this. You know, the worst thing the worst thing in the whole world is to outlive your son. It's not supposed to be like this. 
What happened? What did they do to you? Who can I get mad at? We cannot change. What has happened? There must be something I could do. Please do not tell our family. Yeah, okay. I am still a cop. Mm, yes. Yes, you are. Life. 